Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you three different methods that you can use to transition between different poses. So we'll be using Dare Studio and Marvelous Designer and this really comes in handy because you can start with an A pose where you actually create your garment and then you can actually see what your garment looks like in a completely different pose as well. So this works really well for static poses you can see over there and I'm giving you three methods so you can see whatever works best for you. So the first thing I want you to do is on your desktop create a folder called MD Poses and then in that folder create a folder called OBJ Marvelous Designer Poses and FBX and then in the OBJ folder just create an A Post folder and a Post folder. So the three methods work like this. The OBJ is going to be our first method that uses morph targets. The FBX is our second method uh, that shows you how to do this just with animation data and the third method is with Marvelous Designer Poses. So we save uh, Marvelous Designer Poses from the FBX data and that's that's going to be my personal favorite method. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I want you to go ahead and open up Dash Studio. So once you've got Dash open, go to Window, Workspace, select Layout and select Hollywood Boulevard so that you're using the same UI. Go to Actors, Wardrobes and Props, go to Figures and just load in a Genesis 3 mail. So this comes pre-installed with Daz. If you don't have this, open up your Daz Install Manager and download it and install it into Daz. So it's just going to load my character into the scene. Now the first thing I want you to do is go to Pose and Animate. Make sure this icon is all the way on frame 0. So whenever I'm creating a garment, my first pose is always going to be either a T pose or an A pose. In this case, I'm actually going to create an A pose. So I'll select this limb and bring this to the side of my character like that. And now my character's hands are completely flared and that's really good especially if you're trying to create gloves. But you can easily change the pose of the hands by selecting the hand, going to parameters, pose controls and you can either add some grasp or you can reduce some of the spread. But I'm going to leave it like this. So this is going to be my A pose. Now I'm going to drag this all the way to 1. And on frame 1 is where we are going to create another pose for our character. Now I'll give you creative freedom. You can click on these limbs and pose this however you want it to be. So just for the sake of time, I'm going to use a pose that's already being created. So I'm, on, I'm making sure I'm on frame 1 and my character selected. And I'm just going to select this flex pose. So there we go. So now over here on our timeline, we can see we've got an A pose and it transitions into that posed state. So now what I want to do is I want to, since we're working with the first method, which is the OBJs and a morph target, let's go back to frame zero. I want to save this out as an OBJ. So file, export, and then go to your folder over here. Go to your OBJ folder, A pose, and this one's going to be A pose mail. Make sure this is on OBJ. Click on save. These are my export settings so you can pause and see what I have selected and click on accept. And now do the exact same thing for this pose, so file, export, go to the post folder, this is posed mail, click on save and click on accept. Alright, so we can head into Marvelous Designer. So in Marvelous Designer, go to Preferences, Gizmo, select Local Coordinate. It'll just make your life a lot easier when you're navigating in the 3D window, moving around uh, 2D patterns. So let's load in the first OBJ, so import OBJ. And make sure you're loading in the A pose. Alright, I don't want any arrangement points. I want this on auto scale at 100% and then click on OK. And my character will load in. So this will be the starting point of a project, right? You load in your A pose or your T pose and then you start creating your garment. Now for the sake of time, I'm just going to load in a pre-made garment. So these are some pre-made garments I've made. I'm going to load in this basic crew neck and just add it as a, as a garment. I move this up a little bit and over here with the sleeves just position there a little bit better so this simulates correctly. Okay, so there we go. So let's pretend like I've created this garment from start to finish and maybe you've gone ahead, you've created your own garment right now but you want to see it in a different pose. So this is where we'll use morph targets. So morph targets can come in handy. It's probably my least favorite method for you know, transitioning into different poses uh, because poses cannot be, you know, like you can't have arms in completely different locations because with a morph target, it'll actually adjust the anatomy. It'll make the arms of a character shorter and then it will start growing again, you know, to accommodate for that new pose. So it can cause issues. It really depends what your second pose is. And in this case, 
I made sure that these two poses are completely different because I want to show you the issues I'm going to encounter by using morph targets but maybe it might work for you in whatever pose you're using so to load in a morph target right now you just go to file import obj and then I'm going to go to my posed folder over here click open now in earlier versions I think you go to file and there's import morph target or import obj morph target but in md10 I just go to morph target I leave it on 30 auto scale 100% and click on OK. But now notice these limbs are going to get shorter and then they'll start growing again so that it can actually fit the new pose. But this is going to cause issues with the garment. You see, this doesn't simulate correctly. And this is why I don't use morph targets that often. But I still wanted to show you this is a method that you can use. Maybe you're not using Daz characters. Maybe you've sculpted a character and you've sculpted different poses. Just save them out as OBJs and you'll be able to morph between them. But keep in mind that if you have really different poses, the limbs and the anatomy is going to get shorter and then start growing again. And you're going to get issues like this. Okay, so I wanted to show you this, but I want to show you now the second method, which is FBX. So before we go back to DAS to save our FBX, I'm just going to control Z to undo this to get the garment back in the A pose. And then I'm actually going to go to avatar and delete all avatars because we're going to be, we're going to be bringing in the FBX file instead. So let's go to DAS. Now we still have this animation data over here that's been saved. And if you want to remember, you can save this as a project file, a scene file as well in this folder. You can save this as a scene so that you can always come back to the scene if you really need to. Anyway, let's save this as an FBX. So I'll put that on frame zero, go to file, export, go to your FBX folder, click on save. And these are my export settings for FBX. So you can pause and see what's enabled. Click on accept. And now we can head back to Marvelous Designer. So now I've got my garment back in the A pose. I can go to file, import FBX, and uh, just go to open. I don't need arrangement points, auto scale 100%, click on OK. So FBX will load in with our character. Now here's the thing with the FBX file, the anatomy actually does look completely different to an OBJ. It does get a little bit messed up. And that's why I'm still keeping those OBJs because I will be using them again. Uh, but uh, with the FBX file, you do get the animation data complete, uh, included with the entire file. So over here, let me just move this garment up a little bit. Here we go. So with the FBX file, you just go to animation, click on this drop down arrow, and you can see here's the animation data. But now in order for me to get this garment onto that different pose, I have to click on this record button. Right? And then when I click on record, you can see it will morph into that different pose. So fantastic. And this is cool because I can always go back to the A pose as well. Let's say if I wanted to continue working on something over here, add some more detail uh, or other information to the garment, then I can always go back to animation and just drag this forward and then press spacebar to simulate that again on that uh, new pose on frame one. All right, and if that doesn't work, you can always just click on record. So this, this is a great way to also morph between different poses is to use this FBX file that contains the animation data. The only thing is, like I said, the, an the anatomy is not the exact same way that it looks in DAS, so it does get a bit messed up. And we need to use uh, OBJ files. And uh, yep, yeah, there we go. So I'll show you now if I import one of the OBJ files. Let me just bring this there and just hide the garment. So the anatomy does look like it's correct, but it's not, especially about the elbows. The DAS character has a much more pointy elbow on it. So if I wanted to, I could keep it in this pose. Right, let's bring the garment back. I could delete this avatar right now and then just import the OBJ file, which is over here of our posed character so that we get the correct anatomy and click on OK. And then just let it drape, let the garment drape on this correct version. Now I'll show you, I'll hide the garment. See, pay attention to the elbows. This is the correct version. The anatomy looks exactly the same way that it does in DAS. But now because I use the FBX file, I, was, I could get this easily into this pose. And then I just press spacebar and now the garment is simulated on the OBJ with the correct anatomy. So this is also a really great way to transition to a different pose is to use FBX and OBJ together.
So now I want to show you the third method of saving Marvelous Designer post files. And having post files is pretty cool. Uh, it, it functions actually similar to the FBX where you can jump between, you know, like the A pose and then the post state. But let's say maybe you are encountering issues with an FBX. Um, then you can always just load in post files as well. Uh, it's nice to have, you know, different options. Anyway, just make sure in your scene that you load in, you actually go to delete all avatars and let's load in our FBX. Okay, load this in. And I'm just going to bring this back here. There we go. All right, so let me show you how to save Marvelous Designer pose files. So all you want to do is for your first pose, now you can save a pose on any frame that you want over here, and it's going to, it can be its own individual file. Uh, but I'm going to bring this all the way to zero, and this is going to be my first pose. So I'm going to go to File, Save as Pose. Now remember we created a Marvelous Designer Poses folder, and just save it as a pose and click on save. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back to animation, bring that all the way to one, and then go back to simulation. And I can save this as a pose as well. So I put that on posed. Now in order to use posed files, uh, you actually need to make sure you're using the FBX because the FBX contains you can see I'm hovering over here by this icon called X-ray joints. You can see that there's an internal skeleton. So you cannot save, you actually, you can save post uh, files with an OBJ, but you can't transition between other OBJs uh, because they don't have this internal skeleton. You need this internal skeleton. So now that that's been saved as a pose, uh, if I want to transition to the A pose, I just load the pose into the program. So I can just go to file, open pose. And then you can see a pose, click on open, a very important click on pose and joint translation, and then click on OK. And it easily just transitions into that uh, a pose. And you can see it's a really cool method. It's also non-destructive. Now I can go back loading the post file. So I can just switch between, you know, the post and the a pose very easily using Marvelous Designer post files. Now, obviously, because the anatomy is still being shared from an FBX, uh, if we want this to be draped correctly on the correct anatomy, we would have to delete the avatar. Well, undo that. Jeez, I don't want my garment to fall. Uh, we would have to delete the avatar and make sure that we're actually bringing in the OBJ that has the correct anatomy. So in this case, this would be the A pose. Right, and I'll just drape that on the correct anatomy, just like this. And there we go. So those post files are really handy. Now you can see with OBJ, there's no internal skeleton. So even if I try and load in a pose right now, it won't work. You'll see nothing's going to happen, right? Because there's no, there's no internal skeleton. So you can only uh, morph between different poses with the FBX file. But I think this is a nice method. Uh, because I prefer actually loading in those post files instead whenever I'm working on a garment instead of just relying on the FBX and the animation data. I think post files are a little bit more flexible. So remember, you could always go back to DAS. Maybe drag this forward over here. Right, and then maybe on frame 2. Right, you'll know you're on frame 2 when that reaches 0 again. Then you can create a different pose. So you could literally have an FBX with a whole bunch of different poses and then you can save them out as individual pose files and just easily uh, transition between all of them. So this third method is my personal favorite, uh, but you will still need to rely on those OBJs to get the correct anatomy. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I've given you three options that you can choose and you decide what works best for you. Now, like I said, I prefer the third method where you save it as Marvelous Designer post files, uh, but having different options is always a good thing. That's why I decided to cover all three. The, the first one was OBJs with morph targets. The second one was with just the FBX file. And the third one is saving post files from an FBX and then using the post files to switch back and forth uh, between uh, different poses very easily. So let me know what you think in, down in the, in the description below. Hopefully this covers some you know, issues that you've been having, trying to figure out how to morph between different poses. I've covered all three methods. 
And yeah, there we go. So as always, I truly appreciate the support on this channel so much. You guys are super awesome. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.